Well, I'm getting ready to install the thermostat housing. Um, if you look close, I've replaced all these coolant lines. Um, two of these run to the uh, rear turbo for its cooling, and then the other two run up to the throttle body to warm up the intake air. On the other side, you have this one and this one, and they run to uh, the front turbo. And those are the two lines there. Just clean up the tips. You'll notice I've also installed the coolant tube. I did that immediately after installing the water pump, so uh, just less chance of contaminating the silicone on the seals. Um, what I do is I install this arm kind of like at 12 o'clock and then spin it towards this 3 o'clock position as I'm putting it in just to keep from rolling the seal, potential uh, chance of rolling the seal. <clears throat> if you put silicone on the back of the pump, uh, like I suggested, then the risk is uh, pretty minimal. Uh, it went right in. Um, right now I'm getting ready to th mount up the thermostat and then I'll also do the uh, fuel filter which goes down here and get all this buttoned up. Uh, I've already replaced the heater hoses and as you can see I've tried to do all the hoses down here and get everything cleaned up and ready to go. I've uh, razor bladed the uh, gasket mating surfaces and uh, I've replaced the thermostat. <clears throat> now when you replace the thermostat don't assume the new one's good. Uh, what I do is I uh, put them in a pot of water and heat them up, the new one and the old one, and just take uh, notes on what temperatures they open and close at. Uh, the old one was definitely uh, beyond its service life and wouldn't even open up till about 190 and it closed really slowly uh, only after reaching 160. So uh, the new one responded much better and uh, opened uh, right at 180 and uh, closed at about 170. So anyway, uh, she's ready to go back in and uh, I don't think there's any other tips I can give you other than uh, when you do fill up the coolant system, make sure that you <clears throat> turn on the heater and have the fan running uh, to avoid getting air bubbles in the system that can be really annoying and sometimes a pain to get out. So anyway, uh, that's the tip for the day. Uh, next time we'll see the thermostat housing will be have already been installed, the fuel filter, and many of the other parts on this side of the car. So if you enjoy these uh, videos, subscribe, share them with your friends, and like them. So stay tuned.